going to talk about how to get tight miters on your door casing and your trim casing, as well as some other tips and tricks on how to hang doors and do baseboard. So one of the first things I do when installing a door is check the floor for bubble. I need to take about an eighth inch off of this side. I nail shims at each one of those locations on the hinge side, and I make sure that they're all plumb with each other. All right, the next thing I do is I pop my door stop off, I sit the jam in the opening, and I screw through each one of these locations behind the door stop. So now my reveals look good all the way around the door. I can open it up and reinstall the door stop on the inside, covering up all the screws that I used to fasten through the hinges. And uh, then the door is done. Cut the, uh, cut the shins off and it's ready for trim. Nice reveals. All right, first things first is take a combination square, set it to a quarter inch or 3 16 whatever you want your reveal to be on your jam. And you mark that around your jam so that you know where to measure to. And mark it all the way down the jam as well. Then measure your head. I like to use inch and a half, 18 gauge nails to start. So I cut my piece, gonna line it up with my marks, attack it to the jam. All right, now, to measure the legs. All right, so I got both my legs cut. I'm going to start with this side. Do a good amount of glue on the miter. And then my first nail is always placed right here. And then I line my miters up so they're nice and flush with each other and tight. And I tack. That is what a tight miter should look like. I just wipe the glue off and let it set. tight that miter is right now. There and there. Now here is the key to it all. I only have a nail here and a nail here on my marks. I'm gonna let the rest just stay the way it is. Look at how far off my mark I am there and it's kind of way off down there. These are just loose at the moment. I'm gonna leave this set for a couple hours. I'm gonna go and do the, do the rest of the doors exactly like this. And I'm gonna come back in a few hours and nail the rest of my trim off to the mark. And then I go around with a 16 gauge and I nail around the outside of the door casing. And then it is done. But what that does is you get your miter completely tight and let the glue set up so that that miter is strong before you start moving this left to right because that is what's gonna open up your miter don't rush on trying to nail those. 
So now all the trim is nailed off. The miters are perfect. Boom, boom, all the way down. When I'm able to, I like to build my jam ahead of time and case it and then just slide it all into the opening. Uh, it makes it easier to kind of keep all my reveals perfect and my miters perfect. Um, and then I can just pop it in and nail the trim off and nail the jam in as well. So, uh, this is how I do it. All right, so here's the finished product. Um, when I framed this, I kind of made sure that it had an equal distance away from where my trim would uh, land, and it worked out really well. Went in really easy. All right, I'm starting on baseboard, and uh, this is my process. I cut 3 8 blocks, and I lay them on the ground every so often up against the wall to shim my baseboard up so that the floor can ride underneath it. And then I'll put down shoe molding after it's all painted so that I can just paint and I don't need to cut into the floor. I usually do on these miters is I actually cut them about a 45 and a half degree. Uh, usually a drywall corner is not a true 45 after they've mudded it so uh, that's what I do to get a nice tight miter. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Like and subscribe to follow along as I finish up that basement in the next coming weeks. Have a good week.